Shane Morgan here and we are in the options department. We wanted to show you some barbecue ports trailers today. This is a hot commodity in the uh, cooking industry. Everybody's asking about these and we wanted to show you a couple of different things that uh, we can do with them. You know, at Renown Cargo Trailers, we tell you if you can dream it, we can build it. So a lot of these customers have uh, customized their own uh, design or their own uh, vision and they've uh, put it on paper and now we're in the process of building and making those dreams come true. So this is an eight and a half by 28 uh, foot trailer. If you look at the front up here, actually a v-nose most people do a flat front when they're doing a cooking trailer but this customer wanted a v-nose uh you can see that we've got some propane cages on the front so some 100 pound propane tanks are going to be mounted up there also you can see some led lights at the top of the trailer so they can use this trailer 24 7. Um, when it gets dark they'll still be able to cook serve food uh, make money so right here we've got a uh, four by six concession door um, and window. We've got a pop out shelf right here so when customers come up and they need to grab money out of their pocket you can serve the food out and put the, put the uh, food on here and they can go in their pockets and grab money. So this is a nice little feature as well. This is a white blackout package. So it's done in white 030 aluminum metal. It's got some 24 inch black ATP going around the bottom of it. Uh, we've also got a GFI receptacle right here. So if you ever want to plug in a fan, a TV, a coffee pot on the exterior of the trailer, you can do that as well. Um, we've got 5,200 pound axles up under this trailer. Now one thing that is kind of odd about this trailer is the back porch. Most porches are either six, eight, or 10 foot. This is a four foot porch. This is what the customer wanted, so we build them what they wanted. We've got some more receptacles right here, GFI receptacles. So what I'm guessing this customer is gonna do is use electric smokers and electric grills. And those usually don't take up a lot of space for there's the reason they needed, only needed a four foot porch and they wanted to maximize the space of the trailer. So they'll be plugging in their smokers and grills back here. Also a small access door that we'll show you. You can enter into the trailer from the back side or over here on the side door. Um, we've got some lighting up here on the porch so they can work at night as well, cook at night here. This is a bathroom. Um, this is a small bathroom package. We call it a half bathroom package. It's got a vanity, a sink, and a toilet. Um, there's some GFI receptacles in there, an exhaust fan, a light. Um, it doesn't have a shower, so your full bathroom package has your shower. But this customer just wanted to be able to, you know, exit the trailer and not have to leave the location to be able to go to the restroom. So they can steady make money too. Here's your side door. It's kind of dark in here, but I want you to see. We've got upper cabinets up here. We've got a three deep bowl seat with uh, drain boards as well. We've got your hand wash, your base cabinets that your sinks drop in. We've got a six foot hood vent. And then also we've got an 18 inch deep base cabinet right here um, that is actually six foot wide. And I love this feature in a trailer because you need somewhere to be able to put a cash register shirt. You can also prep here if you wanted to. You could, Use it to prep your food before you start serving food. So uh, it, it just works as a great um, feature to add to your trailer. Also, there's storage space up under there. So if you need places to keep your items. This trailer has got a propane package with three stub outs. We can add extra stub outs, as many as you need, depending on how much equipment you're going to need. Also, we've got a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. We've got some lights in the ceiling. Here's your electrical package. We can put this panel box wherever you want. Um, this customer wanted it back here on this back wall, kind of out of the way. And here's the 24 inch door that I told you about. So you can enter the trailer either from the front or the back. 
So guys, this is a 26 foot barbecue trailer. Like I said, we will customize it and build it however you want. This is what this customer wanted, so we're making it happen for them. Trailers, we're in our options department. We wanted to show you a variety of barbecue trailers with porches on them. We've got a couple that we're working on now, and we just kind of wanted to show you what you can and can't do to these trailers. So right here, this is an eight and a half by 28 barbecue trailer. It has a V-nose on the front. Um, again, most of our trailers, I know we've got two V-noses in here today, but most people go with a flat front on the front of their trailer. Um, right here, you've got a generator platform. Um, this is where the generator will be stored and there'll be a box built around it or you can just do a platform and bolt it down and come up with your own cover. Not done with it yet, uh, but I want to show you the inside of it. We're working on it now. Uh, um, a three compartment sink, drain boards, hand wash sink. You can see we've got some LED 12 volt lighting in here. Um, We've got an inverter hooked to it. That way you don't have to be hooked to a power source and you can have some lighting. We've got a 13,000, or I mean a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. We've got a four by six concession door and window as well. There's the panel box. You can see where they've run all the wiring and stuff up here as well. And then if you'll come out on the back, there's a back door with a porch. Okay guys. As I mentioned earlier, this is a six foot porch. Barbecue porch is covered in ATP back here on the back. This is where the customer will put their smoker and be cooking all their meat and barbecuing back there. Um, it's got a side door gate entry. And then also it's a removable gate. So you pull these pins out and you can remove this gate and then you can load your smoker up. If you got a big heavy smoker and you need to pick it up with a forklift, these porches are definitely capable of carrying that. 28 foot barbecue trailer, another one that we're working on. Polycore exterior, got your side door here, your 48 inch door going through the rear solid wall back there. So there's two uh, places to go in and out of the trailer. We've got your generator platform. It's gonna have your water package. There goes your dump valves. It's got the sinks and stuff inside. So guys, let's go check out another barbecue trailer. Okay guys, we're at another barbecue trailer. This is a actually a 32 foot barbecue trailer with a six foot porch. But if you noticed on the last white one that we looked at, it had a solid half wall going around it. This is what you call an open gate wall. So you can actually see through the wall. And it's a iron gate or steel gate. Um, it also has a removable, you pull these pins and you can remove this gate right here. Uh, so you can load your smoker up back there. And again, I said this is a six foot port. It looks like it's got um, seven and a half foot tall on the inside of the trailer. Customer wanted to position the um, concession door and window at the rear of the trailer. We can put this door and window wherever you like. Like I said, if you can dream it, we can build it. We can customize it however you'd like us to. So there's your fold up shelf. Also, we've got your LED lights up there. So again, they can cook anytime. Um, they want to, they're not gonna be stopped by nighttime. Uh, this is a flat front. Remember I said most people do flat fronts. And the reason why is the propane count cages mount up better in my opinion. And then you also got more room on your extended tongue to put your generator platform in box. But we're gonna run gas lines on this one. There'll be a 100 pound propane tank right here. Here's your motor base plug. So it's just like on the uh, side of a camper. Um, you plug into the side of the trailer and this is what powers up your trailer. We're just now starting to finish out the interior. Um, we've got a three deep bowl sink with drain boards, your hand wash sink. So guys, this is what you call an instant hot water heater. You pay more for this hot water heater, but this customer is never going to have to worry about running out of hot water or having to let the other hot water heat up. Um, we do use different size gallon hot water heaters. But this right here is the way to go. It is, it's, you're gonna pay more money, but you never have to worry about running out of hot water. And you do have to have a propane package for that. 
Here's your inverter right here. This is your, uh, this um, can cause your 110 to be inverted to, to uh, 12 volt. That's why we're able to run these lights right now. Also, uh, we've got the air conditioner running. It is very cool in here. You can see that we finished out the interior walls so far. We got a lot more to do, but this is, we're in the process of completing this trailer. Uh, seven and a half foot tall, uh, plenty of room to put whatever kind of commercial size equipment or refrigerators, freezers in this trailer. You always need to add extra height when you're building a barbecue trailer. Uh, most people we recommend doing seven and a half foot tall. You can get away with seven, but most people go to seven and a half. So guys, um, let's go check out one more barbecue trailer. Okay guys, this is an eight and a half by 20 barbecue trailer. This is one of the smaller ones that we do. It's got a six foot porch on it. The other three that we looked at, one was a 28, 28 foot, one was a 26, and then we looked at a 32 foot. This is an eight and a half by 20 with a six foot porch. They're in the middle of working on it now, but some of the things that it's got, it's got your rear uh, entry door right there. That's a 36 inch rear entry door. We've got a six foot open porch. On the other ones you saw, they had walls going around the sides of them. They were either solid half walls or either half uh, open gate walls. This one right here is completely open. This is what we call an open barbecue porch. So there would be nothing here on the side. Um, you can go in through the rear door or we've got a side door on this trailer as well. They're just starting to finish the interior, but you can see it's gonna have an ATP floor, uh, mill finish walls. They put the hood bin in. But guys, we can do whatever you want to these trailers. And if y'all give us a call at Renowned Cargo Trailers at 188-287. 3954. You can find us online at renowncargotrailers.com. So guys, and we're also about to launch and we're very excited about this. You're going to be able to find us as well at concessiontrailer.com. That's a very easy domain name to remember and we feel like it's going to be great for our business and also great for the customers. So check us out. It's about to launch soon. And uh, like you can find us on um, Facebook, our uh, website right now is renowncargotrailers.com. That's going to continue to go, but as we expand our tents and start uh, penetrating this cooking industry market, we feel like we wanted a, a, a new website with uh, fresh stuff on it. So guys, we look forward to earning y'all's business soon, and until then, y'all know the rest. Y'all be blessed.